Hello, welcome to another video. So this is the integration of a rational trig function. Now, this is what I know. Whenever I have anything expressed as tangent, I quickly try to change it to be sine over cosine, unless I can clearly see where it's going. But obviously, I don't know where this is going. I thought of rationalizing this, but I don't think it's going to make things easier. One of them might be able to give me some secant, but at the end of the day, I'll still do more complicated stuff. Yeah, I think so. So what I would do is rewrite everything in terms of sine over cosine. And let's see what that looks like. So what I have here will be equal to the integral of 1 minus sine x over cosine x divided by 1 plus sine x over cosine x. Okay, so now remember when you have a complex fraction, that's what we call this, you see the denominator both on top and under is cosine. So you take that cosine and multiply everything that you see in this expression. That always works. It's the fastest way to get rid of a complicated fraction. So here we're going to multiply this by cosine x. We're going to get cosine x. We're going to multiply this by cosine x. That gives us just minus sine x. We're going to multiply this by cosine x. We got cosine x. And we multiply this by cosine x. We get plus sine x. Actually, if you remember your trig days, this was one of those identities where you were supposed to prove that this is equal to this. And all you had to do was divide each term by cosine x. Okay, now, is this easier? Well, I can make an observation. This is something I also know. Anytime I need to do u substitution for a rational expression, my focus is always on the denominator. Okay, unless I have natural log functions or radical functions, I don't pay attention to the top. All I do is focus on the bottom and try to see if the derivative of the bottom contains what's on top. So what I'm going to do is in my head, if I differentiate the denominator, here I'm going to get negative sine x and here I'm going to get cosine x. So it's minus sine x plus cosine x, which looks like what's on top just flipped. So I know that if I make the denominator my u, I'm going to get the top, and that's it. This is a very simple exercise. So let's do this. Let's say let u be equal to cosine x plus sine x. Then I know that du will be equal to the derivative, which is negative sine x plus cosine x dx. Well, this can be written as... Um, cosine x minus sine x dx. That's what du is. So let's go back here. So we can say therefore the integral of cosine x minus sine x over cosine x plus sine x dx can be written as, look, we said this is our u, so we're going to say it's the same thing as the integral of 1 over u multiplied by, remember, this whole top part is the same thing as du. Or you can put the du here. Let's put it here. Nice. Ha, 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 ha. You see that? So with this, I can have my answer. If I integrate this, what do I have? I get the natural log of u. Natural log of the absolute value of u plus c. But I know that u is this. So I can say this is equal to the natural log of the absolute value of cosine x plus sine x plus c. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.